Good day fellow noobs. Uh, today we're going to learn what you can do if you want to rename columns based off an Excel table. So uh, one use for this is if you want to be able to control what the name of the column headers will be. So to illustrate this, so I'm going to pull in a sample data first. So I'm going to click on the data tab here and then on get data and then from file and then from workbook. So I'm going to pull in a sample data source. So I prepared here for sample file, so data1. And so let's wait for the query editor to come up. Okay, I'm going to select sheet1 and I'm going to click on transform data. And since we're here, so normally when we're setting up our query, so what we do here, so if we have this list of columns here, so I want to rename this to subject. I want to make this as a default, and the other one we can leave as is. And so I'm gonna load this to our table here. So let's use the existing worksheet and I'm gonna pull in. So now we're pulling in the data here. So, um, so if we want to make the column renaming to be based off a separate table um, so okay so let's load first the query so let's look at the renamed column formula here so table.rename columns has this so it needs some sort of a list so this is actual list so it the subject of ABC we renamed it to subject and then the default ID of employee we renamed it to default so we need a way to be able to if we want to make it dynamic or at least based on what we want to put in we have to make a separate table for for it so that's what we're gonna do um, so here on sheet one so I'm gonna put in let's say the old header and then the new header new header now the old header was subject date subject of ABC and then we have a default ID of employee okay and let's just resize this now the new header you know what let's call this dates subject let's call this subject and the default ID let's call this default ID uh, default ID okay and then we're gonna t turn this to a table my table has headers and let's rename this to header table and then we're gonna pull this in to power query also so I'm gonna <laughs> select from table range and from here uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna transform this we're gonna trans Post this. Okay, click on transform tab here and then transpose. And then, so this one we're gonna have to manually enter a step. Now, on this step, we're gonna add table dot two columns. And then we're gonna have an open parenthesis and then close parenthesis. And okay, so now this is a list inside a list. You can see here and let's call this header lists and then this one we're gonna close and load as a connection only okay then we're gonna edit the our original query and then okay since we're here so remember we made uh, a list inside a list here it's called headers header list now if we look at the step where we rename the columns we're just gonna change the double curly bracket and we're gonna put in header lists and that's it okay and we're gonna close and load okay so if you if that was too fast so if you look here it's now called date subject default ID and type you can even change this to however you want it let's say day uh, let's say 
uh, class and then let's call this ID and then if we refresh this again it should pull through okay now it changed all of the headers uh, getting this only now if you want to include the type also you just put in type and uh, what should we call it uh, type classification let's make it longer type group oh, yeah and then if we refresh it again now it's renamed type group so I want to remove this row and I want to keep only the three here so it's going to retain the original one but it renames the uh, first three columns which is uh, it renamed date to day subject of ABC to class default ID of employee to ID and uh, that's it uh, I hope you find this useful if you have any questions uh, type it in below uh, thank you and uh, good night